Who's the best racer in the North Pole? And with that, it's a warm welcome to the Xmas Giants race. He's the leader of the North Pole. All along, Santa Claus has dominated most of his races with his sledge. Despite many pit stops at each chimney, he's at the top of the leaderboard. Every year from 24th to 26th December, I drive an endurance race around the world. I'm still unbeaten in this class. Ho, 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 ho! But he isn't alone during his races. Rudolf the Reindeer has worked for the same racing team for many years. Now he wants to win himself to show the whole world that in reality it's him and not Santa that's responsible for the annual victories. If this rat nose flashes four times, then nobody can stop me. I want to see how the old geezer gets by without me. Surprisingly, the snowman has also entered the race. In his previous races, the newcomer has always remained ice cold. The only thing that melts over time are the chances of my opponent. The race is a time attack competition. The racers take turns in a Sato Corsa on our Christmas route. Whoever drives the best lap time in three rounds wins. But first, the opponents play rock, paper, scissors for the starting grid. Rudolph already showing his prowess in rock, paper, scissors, and Santa follows straight after. So it's the snowman to start. Getting into the chair is a little bit awkward for him. He's got to wobble around all the snow, but he settles in and kicks things off. Nice little Merry Christmas banner there to start off the snowman's run, kicking off his first lap around our Christmas route. Rudolph watching eagerly here as the snowman's first lap looks like he's about to crack 30 seconds, just over with 32 and 14. Getting around his second lap, but a bit of a slip out there and cutting off the track. Santa's not too pleased about that. Well, it looks like the snowman struggling to beat his first lap time here. Spinning out, nearly hitting the penguin. He's gonna try and get to that finish line, but it looks like the snowman's done for. Thawed and melted. Well, with the snowman done, 32 seconds, it's Santa's turn. Gets himself nestled into the chair, and he's no stranger to getting into this comfy position. A slow start, nestling his foot into that pedal. The snowman here. Hoping for slip-ups from the rest of the competitors. 33 seconds. Snowman's going to be happy about that one. Santa's got some catching up to do. Two more laps to go, though. We'll see if he can manage to break it. And it looks like he has. Just over 32 seconds, but he's picking up speed now. And he's cracked 30. Beautiful second lap from Santa. Let's see if Santa with a third lap can really crack it forward. Yeah, he can. Another two seconds shaved off of his lap time. Beautiful stuff from Mr. Claus. A bit of a celebration from Santa, but maybe a little preemptive. Rudolph still is yet to go. And here he comes, the red-nosed reindeer. Gets himself and puts that pedal to the metal straight in for it. Let's see what Rudolph can do. Getting around that first corner, a little behind the ghost car. But still taking some very nice lines around the track. Focus from Rudolph. He knows that he's in this last position. He can actually catch up to his oh, competitors. No. Oh my That's God. a beautiful line, getting around that corner. And he's going to come through just under 30 seconds. His first no lap, way. and he's annihilated the competition. No Smiles and grins all around as it looks like Santa and Snowman. Not too happy. But definitely going to be celebrating tonight. <laughs> no milk and cookies for you, Santa. It's only carrots for Rudolph. Whatever. Spinning out, he doesn't care anymore. Whatever he says, as that first lap is all he needed. Yes! This is it! This is how we win it! Congratulations to Rudolph, our first winner of the Xmas Giants race. I dedicate this win to Vixen and Dasha and all the other reindeers in the world because we are the fastest. We are the reason that Christmas is even there. <laughs>